the manufacturer and I'm going to split it in uh, two uh, partitions or disks and you will ask me why I'm doing this well folks I'm splitting my uh, hard drive in multiple partitions if it's uh, the main hard drive uh, and the reason is why just because it's good to have uh, two partitions one with the let's say about 10 gig uh, 100 gigabytes for the if, if 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 it's like about 300 or 500 gigabytes it's good to have 100 gigabytes for the operating system and the rest it's good to dedicate for the backups so whatever your computer is gonna uh, end up with the virus or some trojan you always will have the backup your um, major and um, you know important files on the backup disk uh, on the same hard drive but on a different partition and it's not going to reflect that uh, partition where is your uh, operating system so basically if that partition with the C let's say with the operating system 100 gigabytes let's say gonna end up with a virus or Trojan you will not worry it and you will easy uh, go ahead and format your hard drive C and then reinstall the operating system and I'm always keeping my files on the second partition which is the rest of the space so um, and as you know Trojans and viruses like the partitions with the operating system so that's the strategy why I'm splitting at least in two uh, one for the operating system and systems files and another partition on the same disk for the utilities backups and stuff like that and important files that I don't want to lose so whatever I'm gonna end up with a virus or Trojan or something or my system I can reinstall uh, the first partition again and put the operating system without touching the second partition with my important files and data alright so this is the basic introduction and uh, let's say I would like to um, format this hard drive to the NTFS and I would like to split it in two partitions one partition in is going to be since it's my um, external drive and it's a pocket drive so I'm, I'm and I'm the graphic designer web developer and developer I would like to um, use it with my laptop and with my desktop so it's going to be a mobile hard drive disk so I would like to split it in two partitions one partition is going to be NTFS which is as we discussed is the best um, file system partition for the partition type for the Windows operating systems and I'm gonna keep about 400 gigabytes uh, for that and another 100 gigabytes of data I'm gonna dedicate uh, for the FAT32 partition just because I can use it visit my friend with the Apple and get his file and store it into my hard drive uh, on that 100 gigabytes FAT32 or visit my friend with the Linux and store his files um, on his computer on my little uh, hard drive and so that's going to be a good for the communication between other operating systems like Linux and Apple just because the Apple as again Apple and Linux don't want to talk to NTFS file type system alright so I, what I need to do I need to click right button on my uh, hard format and I need to delete local drive <coughs> click on that click yes it's gonna tell me data is going to be lost so make sure that you back up your data it's gonna take a while and it's done alright and now I have the unlocated free space which is not even formatted space and it's a little bit less than 500 gigabytes just because the measurement that I already um, wrote for you in my note before this video so you can you know that um, that 500 gigabytes is not uh, it's not going to be a 500 gigabytes because the measurement the way they measure bytes kilobytes megabytes and gigabytes so if you don't if you have no clue why it is please 
read my note before this video again when I'm going to talk about the bytes, kilobytes, megabytes and terabytes and etc. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click right button on that hard drive free space and I'm going to create the new logic drive and go click next and next and it's going to ask me how much space I would like to dedicate and I would like to dedicate 400 gigabytes without no commas click next it's gonna tell me assign the letter and click next and I'm gonna check the perform a quick format so it's gonna be a very quick and I'm gonna call that partition I'm gonna call it Alex so I'm not gonna get lost when I'm gonna connect it computer because it's portable hard drive Alex 400 gigabyte and I'm gonna click next finish it's gonna take a little like about a minute and it's going to be done it depends to to your computer speed same for mining right now and now it's healthy so it's done and now I have the 75 gigabytes which I need to format as a fat uh, 32 if I'm gonna click right button on it and new logic drive and click next next uh, you will see next that now I'll click next you will see that there is no way for me to uh, select between the file systems so basically it's saying NTFS and there is no way to select the FAT32 means that this uh, disk management Windows disk management utility does not support the FAT32 at fullest so if you would like to format this hard drive th the rest of the unlocated free space to FAT32 you need to use some third party utilities and um, what kind of utility I suggest you let me close it and I'm gonna show you if you like to do a good job I suggest you to use the ESUS Partition Master uh, 581 Home Edition or any other versions Home Edition is the freeware so go ahead and google for it and I already put the name in my notes so you can just uh, see the spelling alright and I just uh, load that utility and you can see I just load it and you can see that I have the unlocated space which is free space not formatted yet to any file systems um, file system right type so um, 76 so I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna go right click I'm gonna select create and I can choose primary and logical and then I can file system and I can have FAT, FAT32, NTFS and unformatted which is unlocated so I'm gonna go for FAT32 and I'm gonna put all the space if you would like to have less space just type your number but I would like to have the all so it's by default it's just the all space and I'm gonna label this partition name it this disk as Alex um, F32 FAT32 so I'm gonna know so I can use this disk um, to uh, get my fan file from Apple or my other fan files from Linux and store it and then I can view them in, in Windows I'm gonna click OK and it's just gonna apply that but now we need to apply it so just make it changes but it, it did not format the drive yet so we need to click apply button it will tell us that it's pending do you wanna apply I'm gonna click yes it's gonna take some time and it's gonna format the drive to FAT32 and it's gonna tell me it's successful done and it's gonna update it and now I have I, I just I showed you how to split your hard drive into two disks or partitions and you can you can put your own size you know whatever size you like and you can split it even in three four five multiple uh, partitions for your own needs